You see, you have to, you have to understand that Levi is into breaking this curse that Jacob has spoken over his life. And the sons of Levi break this curse by their commitment to God. They said, I am on the Lord's side. I know I'm not much. I know I made some messes. I made a whole lot of mistakes, but I am on the Lord's side. I'm going to take a stand for the Lord. I want Christ in my life. I'm on the Lord's side. Can you imagine the people snickering, talking about, <laughs> yeah, right, you on the Lord's side. All these people saying up here, now you're going to be on the Lord. Because there's always somebody to criticize you when you get ready to make a change. There's always somebody to bring up your past when you get ready to make a change. There's always somebody who's snickering at your profession of faith and bringing up something about you that is not a lie, but still not true. <laughs> Have you ever had somebody tell something about you and it wasn't a lie, but it still wasn't true? You did do it, but that's not really who you are. It did go down like that, but you don't understand the situation. I wish I had somebody who could be a witness. You can get it right and still got it wrong. You can have it straight and still have it twisted. Mm. Tell somebody, say, this is my year to change. I'm going to go in the phone booth like Clark Kent, and I'm going to come out like Superman, and don't none of y'all bring up my glasses, and don't bring up me working at the newspaper, because I reserve the right to bring out the better person in me and become whoever I need to be in spite of who I used to be. This is my year of change. <laughs> Tell somebody, say, I got to turn this around. I got to break it. It's a curse and I got to break it. It's a curse and I got to get it off me. It's a curse and it's trying to destroy me. It's a curse and it's trying to hold me down. And I'm not doing this for mama and I'm not doing this for daddy and I'm not doing it because of what you think about me. Think whatever you want to think about me. I've got to get this off of me. I don't know who I'm preaching to, but I have the feeling that I'm talking to somebody today. You're not just coming to church to be coming to church. You didn't come to show off your suit and your hat and your pocketbook. You're coming to break the chains that have held you back from being who God created you to be and come to hell or how long I got to break it. Somebody say, I refuse to live in my past. I to live in my past. Tell your other neighbor, I can't have another year like last year. I break every curse, I break every bondage, I break through every wall, I break through every limitation. I've got to bring out who God created me to be. Oh, I've got to break the curse, the spell. The spell is broken over my life. I don't care what I gotta do. Get my mouth, tie my hands behind my back, but I refuse. You can say whatever you want to say. Sometimes you see people just walk up and come to the altar. Sometimes you ought to leave them alone because you don't know what they're coming to the altar about. 
And sometimes they're trying to break a stronghold and a struggle that's been over their life for years. They're trying to break through a character flaw or a family secret or a curse or a burden that's held them back for years. When you start talking about church, you're talking about some serious business. This is not a social institution. We didn't come here to run a dating service. We came here to break curses and hexes and bondages off of our life so that we can be who God created us to be. My God, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost in this room today. Oh, God, somebody help me shout. I feel God. Glory to God, 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 glory to God. Don't tell me that we're weak to be Christians. You have to be strong to be a Christian. You have to be tough to be a Christian. You have to look yourself in the face to be a Christian. You have to climb out of the muck of your past and the dirt of your yesterday and the secrets of your history to become who God created you to be. You have to be bad to be a Christian. Sit around, I got two more points to give you, I get out of your way. The other thing that I thought about the text is that when Levi stood out and said, I am on the Lord's side, Moses gave him the sword and said, go through the camp and kill everything that's tied up in idolatry. And I thought, Killing is what got him cursed. And now that you've come to God, God has taken the thing that the devil used for evil and made it an instrument of good. It's not bad that I am like how I am. It's bad that I let the devil use how I am for his own benefit. God created me with that boldness and that tenacity and that outspokenness, but all of my life has been misdirected. Lead me in a plain path. Oh my God. Help me to get it right. I got the right thing pointed in the wrong direction. Help me to make a turnaround. I'm, 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 I'm preaching to somebody. I feel something in here. Woo. 